realized. Yeah, <laughs> because I realized, when but... I, I, it was perfect timing. I just put on my headset. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and they're starting. <laughs> <laughs> All right, welcome back to round number five in this NSL Primo Division semi-finals match, Sonoman and Legendary Snails. Now we play on NS2 Vale with Sonoman up in the north in control and the aliens, Legendary Snails in cargo, drooping up big time inside East Junction. And we have here Eagle Eye, Ray, Llama, Tane, Nate on the other end, Lipa and Valde. Valde looking down the hallway, making sure everything is good. Eagle Eye taking a little bit of chip damage there from Nate as he backs off into East Junction. Ray coming around the corner and in topo. Uh, and he's sneaking. Sneaky Ray going into the base, but we have a fast ops. Yeah, I don't see. And ops too. The commander's actually building it. Ray. The comm has to fight. <laughs> Ray is still sneaking. <laughs> I don't know, he's not going to be met by anybody. Right away, Snails has taken East Junction. Phase tech has started. Oh, there we go, with the gorge together. Oh, but Herrick was pretty low. A nice job by Nathan Payne to take down the Skulks. Herrick was just making it out of the way. And Ray, this is the time for him. Maybe he should have gone a little bit early in the base. Yep, 74% on that observatory. Hopsuit jumps out. Ray may be able to take him out. Oh! So close. <laughs> so close. Lipa was right around that corner from Skylights, but that would have been pretty cool. Tane and Nate, there we go. Power in East Junction. Phase gate gonna drop down, I betcha. Yeah, it's just finishing three Marines here. They actually build an armory before that, so they can drop mines in here, which is a beautiful idea. Uh, it makes it much, much harder for the to rush that they know they have to kill these judges. They're grouping up right now. Everyone is coming here. The armory is not up in time. Oh my goodness. In position. <laughs> that was a massacre. Nice cleanup there by the snails, and that was a very <laughs> short-lived expansion from Sonam, and now they're building their second IP. Uh, and down here, Valde taking down King Yo as he moves into the main hive. And he just moves straight through, taking out the uh, Sis chain. Yeah. Dame's here in C12. Tane taking down Heracles and Topo. This chain still being cut by Valde. This is really annoying for uh, for the alien calm. Yeah, it's pretty nice play by Valde. Also, his timing and, and movements. I like that. Killed three skulks on the way, killing so many sis in here. Actually, buying the campers a lot more time. And Sonaman is up to five RTs. They can't just redrop another phase gate. They need to rebuild the power node, though, since the aliens, smart as they are, destroyed it. Takes much more time to rebuild. Ray taking down uh, <coughs> Valde here in Pipeline. Phase gate, blueprint down in East Junction. Power has been restored. Double lurk play from Snail. Sorry, I don't know if you mentioned that. Uh, so sorry if I repeated oh, it. Oh, no, not uh, yet. yet. Interesting. King, yeah, yeah. I think they did the same at Tram and Tane killed both of them. Let's see if we can <laughs> do it again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mr. Lurk Killer over here. Scan being dropped there in Nano Grid. Mines are everywhere holding this. Now it's Sonoman committed to a fight and a defense here in East Junction. But it's four Moraines and mines in here. There's Gosh. no way they can break that or it shouldn't be a way. That's nice and, and powerful. Do you think they will siege? I mean, there's a lot of structures. There's, I don't know, it's okay. It's one crack, Orchdown, the VIP. I think arcing it with the Robo it's a safe way, but it takes a lot of time. And as soon as the robots drop, that leaves up time for the aliens to just go and heavy respiting until the arcs yeah. are ready. Well, they got the armory up here in East Junction. They may. It, I mean, the, the thing about that is, I mean, it's a it's a heavy ec like economic <laughs> investment, and they're really going to need to hold on to, you know, their uh, current RTs that they have. And it looks like they're going to. There's yeah. the robo. You know, they could also drop turrets in here. 
But one mistake many teams are doing is like basically um, the moment you build a robo, the aliens know, okay, they need time. They are just basically defending the gate, we go out rest biting. Then marines suddenly go defend rest, recap those, like go to skylights, go sub, go yeah. pipeline. And then there's only two or three marines left. And that's where the aliens group up and take it down. There's a whole bunch of rest investment inside East Junction. If they lose that, that's pretty bad. And yeah, that's why you have to defend it. Already another idea is maybe even drop turrets, but um, that's too much of a high rest investment. They're dropping in ops, arcs are already pumping out. They go. need three marines constantly there to defend, and they will take out Nano. First one has out, but like you said, look at this. You know, good alien comms now. They call the, you know, the arcs, and damn, go res fighting. Sonaman down to three RTs right now, but one arc, two arcs now out. Uh, I don't think they are deployed yet, or they're deploying. One is, and they're going to start arcing that. Snails knows this is happening. Sana just staying in there defending. Is that base rush coming? You have two waiting in. No, just two in sky. Base rush doesn't make sense. They're sitting on a phase gate. So, yeah, they probably will try keep biting like C4 combo down. And yeah, waiting for the Kappa. That's what Heracles is doing here. Nano is lost. They're not doing anything about it. They're not just wasting effort and time on that. Right. Just, just playing the eco game behind. Because they're sitting on still 4 plus 1 harvesters. Even without Nano, they're still up on 3. Look on the capping. They even went up to overlook the pipeline. Like, fast expanding everything else on the map. Because they know the Marines cannot afford at this very moment to go anywhere else than to Nano. Yeah, exactly. Dames and Eagle Eye, both at 41 P res. So one of them, or both of them, may go. Uh, and there we go, Dames is an egg. And he is going fade. Oh, we see even some max being used. Can be used in fight <coughs> for repairing armor or building structures. But yeah, at one point, Sonoman has to get the upgrades on the way. Like, build nano after that. Oh! Is that the fates are already in the field, killing all the marines here. Yeah, and now they're on the power there in nano. They're kind of just saying, like, if we can't have nano, <laughs> you can't either. <laughs> and there we go, the arcs are moving back. I mean, they can't build there, but... They can kind of deny them a little bit. Sana down to just two res towers, but they know that if they hold nano, they'll be up to four. Yeah. Oh, Dane's oh. getting dangerously close. Oh, goodness. This doesn't look good for Sana, man. They're down to two RTs right now. The push to nano failed. It took too long, basically, to take down nano. The first engagement was important. Um, that bought so much time to legendary snails, but uh, cleared out the first group of three marines. And... I mean, the nano takeout is okay, if the problem is the pace are already there. There's no upgrades. The economy is in shambles for yeah, the finish players. And just on one, and they know they come in here and just clean up all these Marines here in Nano Grid. They are going to be so ahead. King Yo taking down Llama, Lipa going down, Nate going down, Valde going down. Wow, and the Arts! The Why are they not going for the face gate? They could just take down the face gate. Screw the Arts. One arc left there at East Junction, and yeah, I agree with you. They should have just went right in there with all those Marines dead. They could have definitely just turned that into a grind gate. Yeah. Games may get caught here! Close. Oh, Dam's getting pretty dangerously low in health. Oh, the power just went down. That's, uh, that's, that's, that's even sucks. worse. Oh, Dames! <laughs> he is getting really close. Wide <laughs> Junction. He's going to go in again for another attack run. Misses oh a swipe. God. Gets out of there with 34 health! <laughs> 34, and the rest get cleaned up. Eagle Eye at 51 P res. He's going to go Onos pretty soon. Snails is at six extractors. Shotguns now have started. Sonaman, what happened? Well, I mean, we kind of already said what happened. They were uh, way too slow. Yeah to get in the nano and secure Maybe they should have just put a face gate and rush it before Marines instead of waiting for arcs. Yeah. And get upgrades instead. But that's the risky choice you have to make, and that's a problem. Right now they're stuck on two RTs, no upgrades. 
except for shotguns putting up. He can't even afford to drop med packs. I mean, you nope. can't drop med supplies with just two RTs. It's too costly. And now they will go over the face gate. This there is gonna go. be a grind now. And this will. Oh, oh my god, that main! Mine! <laughs> Nice. Five by ten. That's the main. Oh, but they're gonna come back. Here they go. They're just coming through. Turn it in. Oh, he's trying to get them all through. Oh my God! They get obliterated. <laughs> and there we go. Good game. There we go. Good game. <laughs> See you in Cologne. <laughs> <laughs> The classic. Yeah, the classic, the classic line. Snails never gets old. wins it 4-1 against Sonovan. Definitive play. Fantastic job to the Snails. Yeah. What's that? A 4-1 victory.